I'm a huge fan of the uh, relatively new Mavic Mini. Um, I actually sold my uh, Phantom 3 Professional to get it just because the uh, Phantom 3 Pro was so cumbersome and it was always a big event to use it whereas now I'll just take this everywhere I go and if I want to send it up in the air it's great. However, I was getting a little bit fed up with the limited range on it so I'm on a CE model so it's European and it just seemed really low range. Um, if I could just get the range a little bit better I'd be really happy. I was looking on a YouTube channel called Explore with DJI Alex and he seems to be doing quite a bit of stuff around extending the range and in one of the comments there was a guy called uh, Michael Laframboy is it? Or oh, Laframboy, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong who mentioned that he'd spotted these Alpha APA M25 dual band high gain antennas and these are generally in intended for use on Wi-Fi routers to extend the range. These are the APA M25s. So what I thought I'd do is I would get some of uh, these connectors and actually see if I can fit these antennas on here and then try out a range extension test to see how easy it is. Well, this isn't intended as an instructional video. It's more of me filming the experiment. So. We'll see whether it works or whether it doesn't. Uh oh. can see these are the antennas so what I've got to try and work out how to do is remove these they look like they're just on clip then I'm going to replace these with the connectors here and then resolder these wires there oh it goes on that's going to make life easier because I can preserve these then in case this doesn't really make any difference. Because the only thing I'm worried about is these are so small. These are so large. I know I can take these off with these connectors, but carrying this round is going to be less convenient than it is. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this. Now the question is, can I coil this wire up anywhere? Probably the question more should be this side i don't really want to cut these down if i can help it but i will if i have to let's come back to that let me take these off so lower is right upper is left and i believe these just clip out let me risk breaking another connector That's excellent and now to see how easily this fits. It does go through. I'm not sure I'll be able to screw that on enough. Yeah, I can't screw that on there anymore. So I've got room for the washer and the nut. Problem is, is you have to get that uh, nut tightened up when it goes in there. I'm not sure this is going to get tightened up to my satisfaction if I can tighten it from the bottom. Also, I might have a problem fitting everything back in here. That doesn't look too bad then. We'll see what trouble we run into. Right, let's get the other one done. Oh, 
I'll have to put quite a bit of pressure on that. The problem with this is I need to make sure I've got enough room to put that back on and then I've got to reroute this underneath the ribbon cable carefully. So that's fiddly. I've cut away quite a bit of this now. What I actually did in the end, I knew I wanted to keep it so I could go back stock, but I ended up cutting these pillars off, which the screws go into. So I'm taking a bit of a risk here. Just wouldn't fit past these. And I figured, well, there's no going back now. I'll just get straight in there and give it a try. Okay, I'm finally there. I've got the power socket lined up correctly now. This button works okay. This button works okay. So what I'm gonna do is just measure this and see what the perfect width is. So I've had to shave that down to about seven and a half. Oh, hang on, no, did I get that right? About 7.2 and it's about three and a half thick. And then on this side, it's about 6.8 and 2.6 mil thick, maybe 2.5. So that's taken a lot of messing around. The good news is, um, when I did put it back together, I'm not sure if I've already said this, I did have control of the aircraft. I got that stick fixed by shoving that wire back in. Um, the only thing is it started chucking it down the rain, so I'm confident when this goes back together, it'll be done. do while I'm here is measure this because I want to order a new one. So that's a 5mm by 2mm 4 pin connector. Perfect. Yeah I'm a lot happy about that fit. Putting pressure on anything at all there now. So we'll just put the last two screws in. Excellent. Right, I've noticed this now, so I was worried the first time. So once you've had it apart, it doesn't seem to want to power on. So what I did was I just applied mains power, or in this case I've got a battery. And that gave it power, it tells me it's a full charge. And then when I took that off, it allows me to power it back on then. Let's get the rest of it back together. And before you say, look, he's got one nut spare, I've actually got two spare because I had to cut these pillars off, didn't I? So that's for that one and that's for that one. Excellent. One modified Mavic Mini controller. So now with this modification I can put multiple different antenna on here. Uh, I can probably even get some flat ones which are very similar to the stock ones but as I said at the start of the video I'm going to try these uh, flat uh, antenna and I will do another video which shows range testing and they screw on nice and easily. And they're not very heavy actually, they adjust very easily. Uh, these were £15 each off Amazon UK.